Hey, this is Mike. Um, I'm the owner of Four Color Fantasies. We've been around since uh, January of 1987, so we're in year 33. Come on in. I uh, Please excuse the mess. We are still closed due to the pandemic, but here we go. This is what, what the store is like. Right here we have our magazine section. Uh, right away, and as people walk in through the back door, you've got that, and then we've got our dollar bin books. We created this area specifically because I had people complaining that they loved being able to look through all sorts of stuff and find who knows what kind of treasure. So these are in no order and we keep them that way purposefully. As we move on further, we come to our wall. Every month this wall changes with a different theme showing just a little bit of the variety of comics that we've got. And then as we move further in, we see our new our, our trades wall. Again, we try to keep these in some sort of order by publisher and subject matter, and the stuff's always changing. And now, uh, as we go a little further in, we're gonna hand off to Steve to talk a little bit more about the store. Take it, Steve. Hi, I'm Steve, I'm the manager here. Uh, over here, we have our new comics. We have, a, we have a new section for all of the new number ones that could come out, anything interesting that's cool. Uh, we also have a special incentive rack up here with stickers from various creators and various places that, that we've been uh, sort of adorning it. We have a new trade section here. In the case, we have all of our expensive comics. Anything that uh, is over $12, we count at, as expensive. Uh, we got some back issues over here, uh, but we'll explain what those are later. On our new comic shelf, we have them separated by genre, so we have eclectic science fiction and all ages stuff here. Further in along this way, we have our superhero stuff. So we have our DC comics over here, we have our Marvel comics here, and we have independent superheroes in the middle, like Valiant. Um, over here we have our kids section, which we revamped this year. Uh, we've made it a little bit more inviting, a little bit brighter. Uh, all kinds of cool kids trades are here. A dollar box uh, of kids comics uh, and this mushroom uh, seat that's been here for absolute years. And now I'm going to hand it over to Eric. Hey, Steve mentioned back issues earlier. These are our back issues. We have over 60,000 individual back issues uh, with 30 plus years being open. You kind of build up that collection. We have custom made cabinets. Uh, that are very easy to open, shows what's in there. Everything is organized alphanumerically and stickered, labeled, priced, bag and boarded, all that jazz. Over here, we got some more backstop. We have our t-shirts, we have board games and minis. We carry Reaper minis, we love them, we all paint them. They're great to use. Every single board game here we have played, so we do not sell anything that we cannot personally uh, tell you is good. Over here, on this side, we've got realistic horror and fantasy broken down. In genre, horror is kind of taking over everything, but that's just the way things go. Uh, down here we've got eggs, which are our grab bags. They are a dollar. Everybody loves them. we got grab bags. Other grab bags, I should say. We are uh, the first company, first shop on the East Coast to carry Metallic Games dice. They're awesome. We love them. We have a local artist that makes these buttons and uh, light switch covers. And then I'm going to hand it back off to Mike. Hope you enjoyed the little tour of our store. Um... We've been here, like I said, 33 years. We're planning on being around for quite a while. The pandemic didn't stop us. Nothing's going to. Thanks so much for taking the time to look at this.